Uh, okay, welcome to this morning's Morning Mindset. It is a glorious Monday morning here. I'm very happy to be here. I'm very happy that you're here, whether you're here in the room with me or watching the replay. Uh, we have been talking. I So I basically shared a story yesterday of uh, something that happened to me over this last weekend, which sort of took me aback. And then it really made me think about where people's mindsets are when they interact and approach things and what their expectations are of interactions with other people, which led me on to thinking about the supported mindset. And if you watch back on yesterday's video, we did part one, which was the who are you, which was the beginning of kind of like, understanding the supported mindset, which in a nutshell, the supported mindset is constantly feeling that anything that happens around you is for your support. So you never feel like someone is attacking you or being negative towards you or something like that, because you feel like every interaction that is going to happen is because you are supported. Now, it won't always be that case that you will feel supported by every interaction. But for the most part, unless there is some absolutely glaringly obvious uh, this person has been nasty, for the most part, you may approach things very differently. And usually if somebody is being mean or nasty or offering, you know, negativity or something like that, then there is usually a reason behind that which is linked to them and not to you, okay? So we're talking about the supported mindset and how to get into that supported mindset. So we talked yesterday about who are you, like who is that person that is currently achieved the goal? You always have to visualize yourself in the position of that person. And we're gonna unpack this a little bit more today. So I've got another task for you today. We've got four in total, we did yesterday's. So if you haven't done yesterday's, go back and do yesterday's before you do this one. But the next task for today is to identify what is it about you now that is different about who you need to become? Okay, so I'm gonna give you a little example of this to kind of get your creativity flowing about you know where you are at right now. And this exercise really is about you being super honest with yourself. And honesty is sometimes very, difficult uh, to accept and to want to dive into and get into because it makes us feel uncomfortable in a general sense. So when we talk about who are you right now and how is that different to where you want to be, what we're trying to do is we're trying to uncover beliefs that you have which are preventing you from being where you want to be. So let's say, for example, I'm trying to manifest, and this is an example, uh, money, okay? So I'm trying to manifest becoming a millionaire, okay? So I've decided the person that is becoming this millionaire is this type of person, and I wrote all that down yesterday. And then, then and again, this is examples, I have to really think about my own actions we have to think about our own actions and then decide what's in alignment with that person and what's not. So for example, if you were already a millionaire, okay, and you want to fast manifest money or manifest any amount of money, and right now you feel resistance, for example, about looking at your bank account, or you hate the feeling of bills coming in, and you hate opening you know, envelopes with bills in and things like that, would that be something that that future self would be doing? No, if you were already a millionaire, you wouldn't care about the bills coming in. You would want to look at your bank account every day. You know, I know people who literally avoid looking at their bank account because they're so scared of how overdrawn they're gonna be or how close to the overdraft they're gonna be and things like that. Now that is not an attitude that will that will keep you in a place of I'm already a millionaire. You need to start really thinking about these things. Now, we're going to do something 
tomorrow, which is going to fix this issue. But first of all, we need to uncover the issues. And this is what I want you to do today. Uncover and really think about the things that you do right now, which are not in alignment with the things that you do once you have achieved your goal. So using the analogy of I'm a millionaire, you know, what do you do now that is out of alignment or the opposite of what a millionaire would do? You know, so do you dread the bills coming in? Do you dread the bank account, you know, looking at the bank account? Do you sit there and budget every little penny for shopping? Um, you know, what are you doing right now that you wouldn't do as the future, who am I becoming? This is what you need to write down today. And this is what you need to work on today. So it's like, what are my habits? What are the things I do? What are my beliefs? What baggage am I carrying right now that I need to drop in order to get to be the person who has achieved the goal? So hopefully this is gonna make sense to you guys. And it literally could be anything. It could be beliefs that you've taken in from a child. You know, if you, somebody said to you as a kid, you know, money doesn't go on trees and we can't afford that and things like that. That also is something that you could be carrying with you. Now, if you're a millionaire, you know, and you've got lots of money, you know, you wouldn't say, oh, we can't afford that, you know, like <laughs> get the cheaper brand or, you know, you can't buy, you know, like you need a new pair of shoes and you can't buy the shoes because you, you don't deserve that, you know. And it's funny, it's interesting because when I went through this process myself doing the biohacking, I realized I'd been doing something consistently that had been stopping me from achieving my goal. And as soon as I let go of that and dropped it and realized I was doing it and stopped, suddenly I achieved this goal like in record time. It was basically the act of, I absolutely wanted to lose weight and be a slimmer version of me. And I would constantly tell myself, you can't buy new clothes because you're not at the weight you want to be and you don't deserve to feel good at the weight you are now until you've lost it. And that was constantly affirming to myself that I don't deserve new clothes um, because I'm not where I need to be. Okay. And when you do that constantly, you are keeping yourself in that current state. So if you are, you know, are having issues with money and things like that, and you're telling yourself you can't afford it constantly, you know you wouldn't be saying that if you were achieving the financial goal that you wanted to achieve right now. So you really have to be mindful of what you're doing to keep yourself where you are. And as soon as I let go of that and I said, right, I'm gonna go and spend money on myself. I'm gonna go and buy clothes for myself. Literally six weeks later, those clothes were hanging off me and I haven't bought clothes for years. But I suddenly let go of one of the really key things that was keeping me from not achieving my goal, no matter how much I visualized it, no matter how, you know, like, this is a very key element to the process. You've got to offload all this baggage to free up that space for you to become that person you want to be. And you start with this simple identifying list. Identify the things that you do now that are completely out of alignment with who you need to be once you've achieved the goal or who you are once you achieve the goal. So we are going somewhere with this. We've got another exercise tomorrow where we're gonna be doing something with this list. But look at who you are and then look at, look at what you're doing now and then try to really identify and pinpoint the things that you are doing right now which you absolutely would not be doing if you were in the place of achieving your goal. Whether that be linked to feelings around money, habits that you have around money, things that you do, you know, are you somebody that goes into a restaurant and chooses the cheapest thing on the menu, not because you really want it, but because it's the cheapest thing on the menu. All of these tiny little details make up the fabric of you not moving forward 
into the person that you need to be. So we need to identify these in order to be able to do the next step to be able to work on getting rid of them. So that's what you need to do today, guys. You need to really identify those things that are keeping you stuck where you are now because they are, they are things that you do now that are things that you would not do if you had already achieved your goal. So you've got to think, you know, like you've got to connect the dots here. There's there's a lot of inner work that you have to do. You have to be very honest. And there could be some very uncomfortable things coming up for you around that. But you've got to dig deep. You've got to think about your childhood. You've got to think about your relationships. You've got to think about what you've been telling yourself and how you feel about yourself, you know, feelings of worthiness. You know, a lot of times, a lot of people don't realize that our own feelings of lack of deserving and lack of worthiness and we don't deserve to have that actually keep us in poverty and keep us stuck and not achieving our financial goals because we are so deeply ingrained in a lack of self-worth that there is nothing else for the universe to do other than give us more lack of self-worth. So yeah, it's going to be uncomfortable, but it's absolutely necessary part of this process. So that's what I would like you to do today. Um, really think about it and then come back tomorrow with that list because we're going to start reversing uh, <laughs> this process so you can really start to become that person you are now. And I, no, I'm not going to tell you if you, you know, like, if you're somebody who doesn't spend money because you don't have money to go into debt, absolutely not. But there's definitely something you can do, you can act on immediately that is going to start the process of shifting all that out, out where it needs to be in the rubbish. You've got to declutter this out of your mind in order to move forward. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Tomorrow, come back here with that list and then we'll continue this process. But in the meantime, we need to stay focused on our goals and we need to stay focused on our actions. So we are going to get into our daily accountability right now. So thank you, ladies, for being here. We're going to start our daily accountability. Journals at the ready, non-negotiable. Let's get started. And I shall see you back here tomorrow for another morning mindset. Take care, guys. Before we begin, don't forget you can join me live online inside virtual co-working space at www.virtualmissfriday.com forward slash VCS. If you enjoy this session, give it a like. I'd love to hear from you, so write me a comment. And so you don't miss any updates, don't forget to subscribe. Let's begin. So now we're going to look for the positive with our gratitude. First, we'll spend one minute thinking of the day before thinking of all the things that happened, reflecting on work, interactions, relationships, memorable moments, and more. Now you'll write one thing down minimum that you're grateful for. You can, of course, write down more. Something good, something that went right, a small moment or a big win. The more you search for things to be grateful for, the more you will experience things to be grateful for. Now we're going to read out your goal. Make sure your goal is written down in a journal or somewhere you can easily access it. Read your goal now, ideally out loud, and commit to this goal. Believe it will happen. And by reading this daily, the universe knows clearly what your goal is and the things begin to shift in the direction of your goal. Follow your instincts when this happens by taking action.
Now you need to see your goal in visualization. Spend this minute thinking about the goal in your mind. See yourself taking steps towards the goal, or even better still, see yourself having already achieved the goal. Close your eyes and go there. Step into the feeling, step into the place, step into the accomplishment. And finally, it's time for your most important task. Set this task for today and make it relating to your goal. This could be something small like sending an email, recording a video or making a phone call, or it could be bigger. Either way, one task a day is one step forward and those steps will add up. Do what you can from where you are now. Set the intention and the action will carry you towards your goal. Well done you for completing your daily co-create session. Have a fantastic day ahead and I'll see you next time.